peace. What's going on, you all? This is the Mother's House Podcast. My name is Corey. What's up, y'all? This is Deshaun. And we in the building. We're going to have an interesting discussion. Today, we're going to talk about laws and attraction. No, it's laws of attraction. <laughs> ah. Laws of Man. attraction. Um. Man. Yeah. The so the, the you know the the, the attracting the you know, positive vibration from the universe, to bring blessings back down, manifesting reality in your in your world today. Right. So we're gonna be we're about to get a little deep in this. We we touched on these conversations when we home. Um, I don't think we have done nothing this far yet. Have we? Cause maybe we have. We done so many podcasts. Yeah, ain't no telling. Ain't no telling. But um, when you think of love of attraction, like some people, you got some people think it's all you know a facade. It's a you know hoping for the best type of mentality, that wishful thinking mentality about it, right? Mm-hmm. Do you see it in that framework the laws of attraction? You know the powers of the universe. You know keeping positive vibrations flowing. Um, I, I see it as a tool that you can use to make things better in your life but I think it's not the only tool you need to make things better in your life like it's not magic you know what I'm saying but it can help you know get your mind right get the right mindset and all that good stuff so you can do what you need to do to make your life better I see that something like that okay so you see that like just a simple tool another another mechanism to help also keep your mental state and your spiritual state together right exactly exactly and it's just like hold on hold on hold on hold on is that the um it's not like it's not like the uh uh, the get out uh thing going on what it's not like I'm hearing somebody tapping the tea tea glass uh oh you trying to put me in a fucking place? Nobody hear that. Okay, it's just my phone then. Somebody on my phone. Mm-hmm. But anyway, go ahead with what you're saying. But uh, I was saying that it's kind of spiritual too. It's kind of like religion. If you know, it's like prayer. I would say mm-hmm. because meditation and prayer are very closely related. Actually, they are. They are. They are. Do you do like? I, I know. I know for a fact you do affirmations. I, I've been slacking on my affirmations. I'm but I've been slacking too. Ooh, because. I need to do like a lot of affirmations and like do this big affirmation project that's gonna be real good and gonna change my life. But I'd be tired and I'd be having so much to do. I'd be just getting up trying to get to work on time. It's just you know when you when you it's this the thing, man. If I had the time of day like I want every single day and be able to keep consistent with it, this is not it's, it's like more excuses than anything. But still, at the same time, it does make it a challenge. To do things you really want to do. I need to pray more. I need to meditate more. I need to, you know, get my thoughts together every time, you know, I step out the door when I wake up in the morning, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, um, I just think, oh, go ahead. But you, you got to find the time. You know, you got yeah. to. Because that's the only way it's going to get done if you find the time. Exactly. That's just like any the other day. You know, you got to take out the trash. Right. You just going to let the house sit there and stink because you ain't got time. You running late for work. Right. Like sometimes I'd be running. I'll just run late for work and take out the damn trash. So why can't I do that to do, you know, meditation to get my mind right, to get my spirit right? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, I think that law of attraction um, is it's, it's a deep thing but like like just like you I'd see it as not as a tool but it's not, you can't get stuck in it right you, know right. What I'm you can't just depend on oh just positive thoughts gonna bring positive things to me you gotta actually put positive work into you know positive thoughts move you with positive thoughts you gotta have positive actions as well you gotta like move positive you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. you gotta um, manifest things into your world you know what I mean um Right. It, so. it, it can't. It can't just be. You know. I'm just going to think positive today because that's hard. That's really hard to really just be thinking positive. It all takes. Day long. It takes training. It takes a lot of reading. Yes. It takes and um. You should like always read. I say yeah. that. 
and it just you know to, to change your mindset it's a process like it's and it's work it is it is work because i'm trying to do that right now and um it's not some i just read one book and hey i'm better it's like it, it takes real life work you know what i'm saying you have to really put in it's called self-work personal self-work. development self-work yeah. like you have to put the time into you know developing yourself and you know unlearning all of the things that were holding you back and you know and we and we train we tra- retraining your mind and your body to do things that you probably don't that you didn't do before because you already accustomed to doing certain things certain rituals you always do every time you get up in the morning some right. people wake up and just go right down on their phone and go right down their feeds you know what i'm saying right right um you know, so so it does take time. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. It's like, you know, running or, you know, like say for instance, you used to run track mm-hmm. or you used to play basketball or you used to play saxophone or you're a singer, you know, you used to do vocal co- lessons, but you stopped doing it for a while. It's going to take you a minute to get back to the rhythm of it. You know what I mean? And when, when you try something new that you haven't really done before, you introduce something new into your life, you know, into your life trying to you know enhance and, and and build up your 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 spiritual connection to yourself and um in the universe or or to god or whatever you believe in it takes training man it takes patience too it takes patience you can't just like think it's going to happen overnight right so um, yeah it's all about the time you put into whatever you do right right mm-hmm. right um do you think because when I think about, you know, the, not only just laws of attraction, you know, making, manifesting things, manifesting things into your reality. Right. Um, when you try to manifest things into your reality, do you think it's possible to do that through the laws of attraction? Um, the laws of, of, of thought? You did what you uh, All I'm going to say is, it's, especially within the last couple of years, there have been some things that I have wanted and happen in a weird way. Right, yeah. That's all I'm going to say about that. How about you? I, it happens for me like that a lot. You know, sometimes I don't even be looking for nothing, but it'd be like a thought that's in my head and it just pop up. Like, for instance, um, recently, I was just thinking about and this. Very, it could be very simple as this, um, and I'd be like, "Huh, interesting. Why that come to play?" I was thinking about, you know, you know, my relationship, and thinking about what's going on um, with me personally. And I was thinking about my old girl, and she just randomly called me, randomly. Mm-hmm. You know, she supposed to be at work. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, I was like, I thought that into fruition. You know, people get that a lot of times. Sometimes you think people too end up having them call you. You know, thought, but thoughts are powerful, mm-hmm. very powerful. Like that's the thing about the brain. The psychosis of the brain is such a um, a mystical thing that a lot of scientists and nobody can really understand. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I think that. Uh, you can make things to come into fruition. Hell, um, there's a show called Black Mirror. You ever seen or heard about Black Mirror? Mm, I feel like I've heard about it. I heard. I never seen the show. But I've been hearing a lot about it, right? And Black Mirror is basically an altered universe um, through digital <laughs> things that happen in the digital world or things that happen on the social world, like you know, social media and all these different things. Mm-hmm. Um. You know, people make up these stories or create these um, mass reality, different realities, and they actually impact somebody in the real reality. Mm. You know, in real life. You know what I'm saying? Right. And when you look at how the world is working, you can even look at your phone. Like right now, my phone is black. It's a black mirror right now. I'm looking at my phone right now. It's a black mirror. Okay. You know, things are happening on you on 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 behind this black mirror that's actually going on in the real world. Um, that's probably being manifested, you know, as far as energy. Um, me and your brother was talking about something um, earlier. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm lost. How would your phone be a black mirror? Like, how is the phone like the Black Mirror show? 
Like, how is your phone a black mirror? You know, when you when you don't have your phone on, right? Uh-huh. Your phone just off. It just turned black. Right. It's a mirror. So, you look at yourself. And so do, like, black mirrors have, like, some type of special power or something? That, it not necessarily have a special power. It might have a metaphysical special power, maybe. I don't know for sure. But what I'm saying is, it's like... These phones, these computer screens, these things that we use in the digital world. You know what I'm saying? So we in an analog world nowadays. So these things that we have, these creations that, you know, it's a it's a, a, a mobile device or or a computer laptop. Creations get made on these things. Um far as like, you know, ideas, you write like people when you go on to Facebook, people put on false realities of their lives. Or sometimes it be really reality really what they're doing, but people look at that and get inspiration and want to apply that to their life and try to manifest it into their life. You know what I'm saying? Just like you know, celebrities and all these things, right? That's what I'm saying with the Black Mirror thing. Um, maybe I'm going a little too deep on it, but that's neither here. It's making me want to watch the series. It does make me want to watch the series a little more because you know, it gets me thinking about it. Maybe kind of interested more into it. Um. But me and your little older brother was talking about it. it's like um, you know you know how football is right. Mm-hmm. People put emotions. People are emotionally attached to football. Like <laughs> people are crying for their teams, and and, and, and when their team lose, they really feel a certain type of way. Right. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like they they, get, they feel drained when their team lose. You know what I mean? They definitely and, do. And sometimes it's the you know it's like. You can think of it like a thousand people making it, like a million people praying about one thing, focus on one thing. Every single Sunday, they focus on one thing. They focus on this one person prayer. You think nothing will happen? Well, see, this is what I feel about stuff like that. I think, I do think when more than one person think something to try to do something to pray something it brings energy but I think what it happens is it's changing your mindset I feel yes yeah so it's like cause thoughts are energy and it's like it's gonna change it's like you shaping the universe yeah and it's like you making yourself subconsciously do certain things okay so this is what I've been reading lately just a little bit of what I've been reading so basically if I can get a little deep a little deep a little deep um so basically we all have a subconscious right yes and um basically our subconsciouses are kind of like geniuses and you can kind of access that genius sometimes and what you do is but the thing about your subconscious it only does what you tell it to do so you have to be careful what you say because your subconscious is going to do it it's like a part of your brain that's almost like a robot because it's telling your heart to do stuff it's telling your brain to do you know it controls everything it's that part of the you know how you have apartments it's this door that you can't go into yeah that's kind of like your brain so just like we were saying all throughout the podcast so far thoughts have power thoughts thoughts have energy so what you need to do is control your thoughts and intentionally think certain things that's where affirmations come into play so you can almost kind of trick your brain into into thinking what you need to think to make your life better but it's it's a process and it takes work and it's not something you can just kind of think overnight it's like you have to always be programming it's almost like you're reprogramming your brain and yourself to do things kind of like that think about it we've been indoctrinated through the quote-unquote black mirror through the matrix you know through um so many different things that can off trigger you from having that connection with your your mind and spirit you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. um that's that's interesting you know um so let me ask you this do you think that people who are realistic, you know, people who are realists, you know, people who, you know, try to keep it with a honey all the time, people who can come off very pessimistic, very um, party poopers, right, <laughs> right? Put it like that. You think are they will they not be able to manifest? Not necessarily a particular person, but it'd be harder for a person. 
person to have that, to, that stay in that mind frame to be able to manifest um, positive think vibes or positive energy back to them to within their own lives. Um, but I think I don't know. This is what I think. That's hard, I know. You can't really combine what another person doing. Though, right. You know? Exactly. And it, it's all about it's all about perception too. Yes. Cause what's positive and what's negative is different to different people. Yes. And yes. um, a person and negative may, is not necessarily a bad thing. You need a equal balance of both. Right. And a person may feel like what they're doing is for the greater good. Like I may right. say I'm a pessimist, and I'm basically telling everybody facts and dropping like info on everybody. But I may feel like my purpose or my passion or my mind may be telling me to do this because I'm trying to wake people up and if, and the more I do this the more people who are going to wake up and then the more people are going to get on the same level and we're going to all be you know a better but, what, but, but this when you get to the point where you wake up right mm-hmm. you got to do something so what do you do when you wake up I mean I think that depends on the person mm. You know, I think that's the individual answer. Right. So we in the age of Aquarius, and you know, it's also the divine age of feminine energy. You know, the Aquarius is the feminine energy. Mm. Um, it's the awakening age, right? So everybody's waking up, but you know, there's no set boundaries or standards of what to do after you wake up. You know what I mean? Everybody kind of lone wolfing it. You know, you didn't want to say it. Everybody trying to figure it out on their own. You know, right. Um, and I think going back to the medical, you know, getting back to the meditation, getting back to those affirmations, getting back to self care, self love. You know what I'm saying? Getting back to those things will help guide you to to be able to um, assess what you personally can do to try to improve your life and improve other lives if that's what you're trying to do. Right. But I think the problem is people think that's all they need to do. Yes. That's when it's like, okay, like, there are other things that you need to do to fulfill your duty as a, you know, a person who is whoever you are, whether you family member, black person, African-American, you know, whatever you want to call it. But I do feel like that's why I said, like I said earlier, it's one piece of the puzzle. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I feel like metaphysics is kind of because, you know, people are more so starting to fall out of Christianity and traditional religion. And I think what metaphysics is doing is replacing that. It is. But, you, can't, you can't really replace something that's already, you know, that's what's problematic in the beginning. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying that all religion is bad. Cause, you know, there's spreads in religion because some certain religions teach discipline. I it think you can bad. replace it. I think you can replace it, but I don't. I think you need more than just it. Because even with religion, it's really not too much wrong. This gonna be a comp- people not going. This I'm, I'm gonna just say it. Religion can be good. You know, it has its good factors too. You know, I always say like for some people, religion was good because it's not. Once you take the fairy tale stuff out, it just kind of gives people structure, and right. some people do use it incorrectly. But um, it, it can be good. It can, but um, what I think c- because people are figuring out or finding out about the stories of Christianity came from this, that, and the other, so they're replacing. It's like everybody need a spiritual, you know, cup meal for the day or for the week. Not so I think people are replacing their Christianity and Muslim spiritual meal with metaphysics. But the only thing is, you need more than that one meal. You need to do other things too to I think become a complete human being as well as being a better person for society. I'll say that. Yeah, I agree. I get it. I get it. I mean, when you think about you know religion. Um, Certain religions teach people certain discipline. Um, certain religions give people the discipline to prayer, discipline to fast, discipline to do these different things. But when you don't wolf it out of here, and you you know you're going off your free will, your freedom of will, you know you can sometimes get lost in under, understanding like what you do and how you feel and, how, and energy. Like for instance, my sister, love her to death, love my sister Oya. Oya can give you the nastiest stare. <laughs> in the world is that I'm like telling her like you can't keep staring at people bad like that because you producing energy when you're doing that and you reflecting energy back towards
towards you when you do that. You got to be mindful of what you, kind of energy you're pushing out and retrieving out there to other people. You know what I'm saying? Um, when it comes to, in order, and why I'm bringing that up with correlation with, this, you know, religion is because it's, it takes discipline to be able to mind the feel of your of your emotions, the mind, the feel of your attitude, the mind, the feel of your, the energy that you produce out to the world, you yeah. know, back out to the universe. Right. You, you know definitely have to like, you know, it's a practice. It's a discipline. Like you just said, you have to continue to be that other person. You know, you can't just be a different person overnight. You have to program that into yourself, you know, exactly. Till it's next, second nature, you know, right. till it's second nature. Right. You know, when I have children, you know, they gonna know the power of meditation. They gonna know the power of, you know, of thinking and, and having, a, you know, that silent time to really reflect on, on, on yourself and, and have that spiritual conversation with yourself or spiritual conversation with God, spiritual conversation with uh, 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 a spiritual connection with the universe that you, you know, that, you, that represents you. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I think people look at the uh, God as a uh, spiritual reflection of themselves. You know, um, whatever that may be. But um, yeah, so is it's another question. This is the main question. This is basically the title of this podcast. So is the laws of attraction, the law of metaphysics, the law of meditation, the law of spiritual connection, all that stuff, all that. Is it a farce? Is it a lie? Is it bullshit? Like I said, like, I'm not atheist, so I don't think it's, like, just not, you know, not true. But like I said, you you, you just need more than it. It's a piece of the puzzle to be yes. a complete person. You know what I'm saying? It, it takes more than that, you know? It'll help. I will say this when you start to read and start to delve into that stuff it'll help shape the rest of your life it'll do that but it, it's not the end you know what I'm saying you can't just do that and be like alright I'm good like okay. you know, affirmation's yeah. done I'm okay right. you know that's it like you know they all, there's a saying you know words have spells right so when you write the words you, you catch in a spell and just you like I said just like with Christianity, like a lot of people have joined the church, even though I'm not a Christian, I don't believe in that stuff. But a lot of right. people have joined the church and they'll become <laughs> like it'll fix their life. And it's not it's really and truly it's not really about the Bible. It's about the community and the environment more. So I say that all the time because I look at my parents and like, yeah, they go to church. They're Christians and, that, and everything. But I think more than them being like babble thumpers they're because they're really not i think they're it's more about the community and bringing like-minded people together and really talking about different things to help make you a better person and it's not all about turning the other cheek you know and the things that people think christianity did to black people which it had a hand in that but you have to also remember that that religion is basically a copy of a lot of other religions so it is. It is. it's a lot of good stuff in there too that can help make you that can help your mind too it's the thing about Christianity that you know my mama still said my, you know your parents my parents my parents my mom and my dad was the same same exact way but um this is one thing that a lot of people in Christianity I have a uh, conflict with them with it's like you know when I say like you can do pretty much anything if you meditate you know have that discipline um you can do far greater things than Jesus Christ I can do greater things than Jesus Christ right mm -hmm. Jesus Christ said it in the Bible <laughs> you know what I'm saying the Bible tell you he tell you constantly like you can do the same you can uh, t you can connect with that Christ energy just like I do you know like you can connect with the God energy that I do that what Jesus Christ was saying repeatedly throughout the Bible well, people, when people hear that, oh, that's blasphemy. Oh, no, there's only, you know, but that's only, only one Lord to say that. When actuality, I think the Bible was, well, we know what it was orchestrated to do. It was orchestrated to divide and, you know, some oppress group, certain groups of people. That's what the tool they used it for. But the story um, of Jesus Christ, I think it was supposed to tell the story of, you know, of attracting and attaching that law of, of law of attraction to get to that God energy, to get to 
it at God principle. Yeah, it's just another version of the same story. It's just another version of the same story. You know, you go to ancient Kemet, you know, he talk about um Heru and um and um I forget the other the goddess name. I wanna say Ma'at and I don't think that's the goddess name, Ma'at. I think it's a different name. But you know, you go to ancient Kemet, you go to ancient Ethiopia, you go to hell, you go to um uh, uh, ancient um, uh, the Igbo tribe. You go to ancient Africa, just all over that place. That that same story has been told. You know, you talk about the Shango story. You talk about any of them. These same stories have been told. That you know, been told that been telling that they are telling in the Bible. That they're telling in the Quran. That they're telling in the Hebrew um, literature. Um, but this is the key. It's not the crack on people who do believe on those things. It's the whole thing is about trying to apply the law of attraction, trying to apply these things to, you know, utilize with your mental space, your spiritual space, and attracting more positive things into your life and make your thoughts be manifested. And, you know, like I was saying, with, you know, you write words down and spell words. The words are, when you write it down, it's a spelling, but you can't just leave it on the paper and think that's all you got to do. You right. gotta have to put action behind it. You got other things you gotta do. There's other things come and play to make you the person you are. Cause you more than just you know your thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah. I'm not gonna even act like I'm some type of guru oh, in yeah, any. I, mean, me, 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 I, I don't know the answer. That's right. My... Oh, that's how I, I, I'm trying that's to. How I am I'm trying to fix my own life. Okay, <laughs> like, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, but um, disagree with this conversation. If it all means hit that comment section and let us know what you see. Right. How you see life? How you feel about life? But I will say this also. I don't think you can use metaphysics as a substitution for what's wrong with the people. Yes, you can. No, you can't. So yeah, I don't think you need to tell IE niggas in this country to just think a certain way and everything will be okay. No, 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 no. That's not the answer. Yeah. That's not the answer to fix the the racism. That ain't gonna fix racism. I don't think metaphysics is put here to fix racism. I think metaphysics is put here to be stressing you up. Right. Get you on that God, um, getting you on that purpose, getting, getting your shield up. You do what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Getting your your mentality is strong, so you have the energy to go ahead and fight against uh, racism. You know what I'm saying? But what I fight against oppression. What I can play devil's advocate with myself with is saying that if more people were to talk about reparations, for example, if that conversation started to happen between right. every other black person, I bet you it's something to happen. I bet you it will. I think if we talked about reparations as much as we attend and watch football on Sunday morning. Sunday football is a religion. Hell Every yeah, Sunday that's is, a real religion. A so if every black man and woman and child and Falcons go to hell every year. <laughs> exactly. Like everybody's going like their eyes going to be glued. What is it? February second. That's when the Super Bowl start. I believe so. Around that time, everybody's going to be on watching the Super Bowl to see the performances, to see the, the the commercials and everything. If all that energy was focused on how can we push reparation or have a conversation about reparation, something will bubble. Yeah, something. A spark of idea, a spark of creativity and ingenuity to push. Even if that. it was something that happened for the generation behind us. Exactly. You know, something yes. like will begin to formulate. I truly believe that. So, yes, you know. But yo, man, behind the bills. Oh, this not mean you were listening to something before we get on this conversation. Me, you were listening to this a year ago. I think we did a podcast on it. Um, and she was like saying, like, you know, it's going to be a whole other podcast. We may come back and do this podcast on this. I'm just going to end with this. You know, your emotions. Overstanding and having an understanding of your emotions. Why why are you angry? How are you mad? Why are you sad? All these different things play into the role of you it can block your manifestation of your thoughts. Mm-hmm. I believe that. You know. Um so with that being said, you know, just to keep a clear mind and open mind, a very open mind to the energy that you producing the energy that you want to receive and 
try try hard to and read as much as you can to try to push positive vibes into your into your space. But just don't depend on it for everything in your world. You know what I mean? Right. Right, right, right. Well, that said, y'all. We're gonna catch y'all later. Got any last words, cuz though? Nah, peace out. Well love y'all, peace. I will not raise my daughter differently than my mother raised me. The rearing I got from my mother, words cannot express. I could live in any time, I could live in any country, I could live on any planet, and I would be fine. What was the key? The key. What did your mother know? <sighs> what truth was coming through your mother that's mm. going to come through you to your daughter? My mother gave us aphorisms to learn as children. And the one that I, there are two that stand out foremost in my mind. One is the inner reality creates the outer form. I learned this when I was in grade school, I was very young. And the other is the universe bears no ill to me. I bear no ill to